How many clients you lose today? How many clients you use, you lose yesterday? How about last month? How about for the year? I guarantee you, you you slipping somewhere. I'm gonna give you five reasons, and you can pick which one it is for you. But I'm gonna give you five different reasons. All right, pick them, choose them. You know, change them. I hope you change. I hope you change them. Do something different. Do something different. Okay, because we can't be out here losing people like that. You know what I mean? Not for these reasons. These are fixable things. These are fixable things. Now, you know, you don't know how to do a shape up here. I can't help you fix that right now. You know, that's for later on. I can't help you fix that right now, but I can help you fix these. You know, I can help you fix these at the very least. Only thing you got to do is listen. Get your little notepad out, take some notes. This might help you, man. This might help you. You might be one of them. You might be one of them. And if you're one of them, I'm happy that you met me. You know what I mean? I'm happy that you met me because I'm going a, I'm to a help you not be one of them. That's what I'm here to do. I'm going to help you not be one of them. Okay? So you don't need to be one of them. So here you go, man. Hang tight. Watch the video. Comment section below. Like. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. We're going to be dropping stuff like this all the time. Welcome to the crafted world, man. Welcome to Crafted Studios. I'm happy that you are here to gain this. Because, you know, you can't really get this everywhere. <laughs> Not everywhere. You can get it here, though, but not everywhere. Okay, one of the first reasons um, is a big reason I think a lot of us will agree with is attitude. Attitude will stop people from coming in and sitting back in your chair, bro. That's just the reality. A lot of people don't want to be around negativity. A lot of people got their own problems to deal with, so when they come in to sit in your chair to deal with getting their head cut by you, for the most part, they don't want to deal with your problems. So your attitude will stop people from wanting to come and engage with you. Uh, maybe you're not being attentive, you know, maybe you're not giving them exactly what they want because you mentally in a funk or whatever the case may be. Check your attitude at the door before you walk into your shop, if you got a suite or whatever. And this is especially for people who are do appointments only and have a suite opposed to being in a barber shop where you don't get to rely on walking traffic. Okay, if you're building your own clientele on your own without walking traffic, you're doing all the promotions and stuff like that, you don't want to reel people in and then your attitude send them away. Like, that's not what you want. You know, you want to come in, check yourself at the door, get in, get in, get prepared, get set up, make sure you're ready to go. Then when they come in, have a smile on your face, greet people at the door, make them feel welcome, make them feel wanted, make them feel like they're the prize, you know, that, that you're receiving. So attitude is number one. Number two, reliability. Um, and when I, what I mean by that, it does not necessarily mean you being booked up all the time. Uh, what I mean by reliability is being not being on time for your appointments. Not uh, making sure that if you're running behind, that you letting your client that's supposed to be coming after, after the one you have in your chair, letting them know that you're running behind. Being reliable doesn't just mean being being physically there, okay? It means being reliable for your client's benefit because they book the appointments, they come in at a certain time to get their hair cut, and your, your reliability um, on being professional, okay, is what keeps them coming back. So you can give out a great haircut, but if you can't get a haircut but once every six months because you decide you don't want to cut hair that day or you don't have a schedule set up, then, you know, you're not a reliable person, not a reliable barber, they won't come back to you. So be reliable, you know, make sure that you're not canceling on your on your clients last minute. I understand we got lives, I understand things happen, but you can't make a habit of those things. You got to be reliable to the people who need you the most. Number three, this is probably one of the bigger ones. Um, that you probably don't hear a lot of, but, you know, your clients may not necessarily tell you. Maybe they're embarrassed to tell you or whatever the case may be. Maybe they don't hurt your feelings, but professionalism and hygiene together. Both of those things together. Okay? Got to be professional, man. <laughs> this is not, we ain't in the streets. You got to be professional. Okay? Don't curse and and cause, a, you know, cause scenes and stuff like that. Got to be professional. Got to be on time. Got to uh, handle your business properly, okay? Hygiene, brush your teeth. It's not hard, brush your teeth. 
Take a shower every day. Some of y'all don't. You got to wash your ass. Some of y'all don't. I think y'all know who I'm talking to. Some of y'all don't. Brush your teeth, take a shower, uh, constantly wash your hands. Yes, sometimes it's gonna dry your hands out. Even if you wear gloves, take your gloves off. At every client, change your gloves. That is a part of your hygiene, okay? Part of you being professional. Change your gloves, wash your hands before, before and after every client, okay? Be professional, keep your hygiene in check. Uh, guys, fingernails, fingernails. Keep your hands together, okay? Keep your hands together. Clip those nails. It may not seem like a big thing to you, but when you using a razor and you got your hand on people's face, they feel that. They feel that. Some of them even be looking. They see it. So fingernails need to be, you know, you, you go. men should be getting their hands done anyway. That's just my personal opinion. But get your hands together. Brush your teeth. Wash your face. If you... Smoke cigarettes, have some spray on it. You know, don't nobody want to smell that. You know what I'm saying? To my to my to my grass smokers. Be aware that everybody don't like the smell of weed, bro. Everybody don't like that smell. So make sure you got something that can help with the people who don't like that. Make sure that you are consider excuse me. Make sure that you are considering who is coming into your shop, who's coming into your suite, who's coming for you. Just make sure that you're considering that. Very important. Hygiene, professionalism. Professionalism will easily stop people from coming back. I don't, they don't, a lot of them don't care how good you cut hair. If you ain't able to come back, be professional, right? They want you to be professional. That's what clients want. They want you to be professional, okay? We're trying to get away from the, the hood shop or something. They wanna, they, a lot of people are business working people. They want to come in, spend their nice her nice, Hard earned money with you, and they want to get their money's worth. And a part of that is the way you carry yourself. Part of that is the way you carry yourself, the way you smell, the way you look, the way you walk. You know what I'm saying? You're a barber. Make sure you got a haircut. It don't got to be every day, of course, but make sure you look in the part as well as being able to show them that this is what you do and you're professional with it. Four, um, this is one of my biggest pet peeves is cleanliness. Your station has to be clean. I understand we're busy, we work all day, you know, especially people with walk-ins. It's kind of hard to have your station looking exactly the same after every haircut. But work clean, okay? Brush your clippers off. Spray them down after every client. Switch out your razors. You know, your, your disposable razor blades. Don't use the same one on any client, okay? Make sure that you have all the necessary cleaning tools. Spray your chair down. Wipe your mirror down. Be clean. Sweep up after yourself. Okay? Nobody wants to work next to a dirty barber. Nobody wants to get the haircut from a dirty barber. Nobody wants to send their kid in there and, and see your station looking crazy, but you sitting in your chair not doing nothing. Clean up after yourself. Give yourself a few minutes before and every client to reorganize your station, okay, to make sure that everything is going the way that, that it was before the client got there. So when you first got there in the morning and you saw how your station look, it should look like that to every client. You should you should be able to clean up, put everything back together. Okay? Gotta be clean. Clean capes, uh, clean chair, clean brushes, clean combs. Gotta make sure you're taking care of your equipment as well. Uh, oil them, spray them down with, with, your, with, with whatever clipper spray you use. Okay, make sure that your clippers and combs and scissors, I'm sorry, shears, Shears are all clean. Okay, clean towels. If you're doing facials and different, uh, you know, applications like that, you got to make sure you have clean tools and everything is ready to go and ready for use. Okay, got to be clean. If you're in a suite, make sure that it smells decent, please. Nobody wants to walk into a suite and it smells like fried chicken and, and catfish. Make sure that you got something in there that you can spray. It's got to be a nice scent. It don't got to be nothing too strong, but it got to be a nice scent. Lights, candles, do whatever it is you need to do to be clean and smell clean. Okay? Cleanliness is a big part of our job, and you have to do it. It's it's not an exception. Okay? You have to be clean. Try to be clean. Try to clean up your station after every client if possible. Um, you know, fast money is cool, but don't sacrifice being clean for the fast money. Clean up after yourself. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure your mama or your daddy or your grandmama or whoever that raised you told you you got to clean up after yourself. So if they didn't, you need to get a new, uh, you need to get somebody else. Okay, number five, not giving the client what they want. Okay, not giving them what they want. They may come in here and ask for, you know, give me a two on top, give me a five in a crown. You know, give me a, I want a V shape in the back. I want a lightning bolt on the side. They can ask you for whatever they want. That's part of the job. Give them what they want. Don't give them what you think they want. Okay? Don't give them what you think they want. Give them what they want after you have established exactly what that is. So during the client consultation, you should be asking as many questions as you need to get exactly, you know, the information from them that's going to help you with exactly what they want. Because a lot of times, clients don't understand what they want. Not in barber terms. So you got to break barber's terms down to layman's terms so that way they can have an understanding. So y'all can meet in the middle, but you have to give them what they want. Clients will not come back if you if they ask for a low taper and you decide that you want to take the C cup away. They're not coming back. That's not what they asked for. You know, if you got a wave in your chair and they say, I want a two with the grain, I want a three in the crown, I want a low taper. And you go one and a half all the way around here because you think because you think it looks better. They're not coming back. All right, I've I've heard it a few times that pe uh, a few barbers feel like a few barbers have a signature that they add to the haircut. Make sure you run that by your client first. Don't just give them a, a random signature that they don't know nothing about, just so people can know it's your haircut. Make sure that you run that by them first because some people are very very particular about their hair. Like if they don't want it, don't give it to them. Don't give it to them. There's other people who won't be okay with them with you doing that. Ask your clients, give them exactly what they want. Very listen, if I come to you and I want a certain haircut and you do something other than what I asked for, I ain't coming back, bruh. You won't see me no more, you heard? <laughs> I'm out of there. You will not see me no more. I promise you that. I won't even come into the shop. Because if I can't trust you in the shop then I can't trust this person. A lot of people think like that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people think like that. Give them what they're asking for. Now, in retrospect, if you give them what they're asking for and they want to change it, the answer is no. Or you got to pay for a new haircut or whatever the case may be. You know, but in the initial cut, give them exactly what they're asking for. There ain't no need to, you know, try to do things your way because you want to take a nice picture of the post and stuff like that. All that stuff going to come, man. It's all going to come. Give them what they're asking for, and they'll come back. As long as you're doing a decent job, they'll come back. They will. People want to go to the same barber. A lot of people don't want to jump shit. They don't want. They don't want to go to try different barbers. You kind of force them. So, back to you know to the beginning. The five five of my key things. This isn't for everybody. There's going to be plenty more. If you have any more, put them down in the comment section below. You know y'all can argue about them down there. Here, so. Attitude, cleanliness, this is not in any order. Attitude, cleanliness, professionalism, and hygiene. Giving a client what they want and being reliable. Being reliable. Those are things that are, that if you don't do those things properly, you will lose clients. This is how you lose clients. You know what I'm saying? This is exactly ways, these are different ways that you can lose clients. So be aware of that. Make sure that you're treating your clients with respect. Treat yourself with respect. Treat your chair and your shop with respect. Treat your tools with respect. And you'll have them coming back. And that's the reality. All right? So, you know, like I said, this is your boy, Lenny Crafted with Crafted Studios. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure talking to you guys today. You know, I'm happy that you came here to gain this knowledge. Hmm? Hmm? This knowledge hmm? that everybody can't gain. Ha, 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 ha,